all right boys we are back part two of creating your own pancake swap website clone script whatever you want to call it quick reminder if you guys do want something like this or any other web3 project done my email is down below reach out to me me and my guys will get it done for you this is part two we get it done i want to introduce you guys to like um some tools right so as you can see last time last time we were here like we we actually um, clone the front end and you know we made it on our own local in our own editor and you can see here the galaxy is made of pixels that's our little edit but what i'm actually going to show you guys to do in this video is how do you actually put this online on the internet so you and your team your, you and your your community can access now obviously we're going to do more changes and that's going to come in either this part or later parts probably later parts um, i do think i will actually get rid of this logo maybe in part three but um for now i want to show you guys like how to put this online so hopefully you and your you guys can can uh, come right along with me and see see this happening in real time all right so um the first thing i want to do is i want to teach you guys um i want to all right first thing we're going to do we're going to need a domain name right all right so for domain names my preferred site to use is namecheap why namecheap i just think they have the easiest like way you just type your name in here um you guys already know what's up i always go with pixel swap no matter what i don't know what obsessed me with this name but it's always been pixel swap you can see they stole my dot com but that's okay we had lots of um you know other you know demo names we can play with guys come on these videos cost money guys listen to me okay i'm gonna need you guys to go down in the in the description hit my donor crypto addresses and send money so we can have more domains okay right about now we are hitting this um I'm trying to show this to you guys actually my jokes aside um obviously you want to choose your your domain most 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 of the times i'm doing this we choose that finance do domain um uh that's um what i've seen you can click explore more here and you can um click domains or two or less or whatever you want i you know um I like this that Google domain. I actually went with that LOL for this, which I already got. But yeah, pretty much you just come here, type in the donate domain name that you want, select it, add the card, run it. Okay, and you'll you'll have your domain name. All right. Now once you once you do have your domain name, it will guys don't have me, don't 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 um that is a weird thing. I don't remember right now. Anyways, come on, name cheap. I'm mean, come on, bro. I'm giving you a referral. No, no referral links were dropped, bro. Come on, load fast. What the fuck? Um, really? I promise it's probably my internet, guys. Like name cheap. You're not. It's not a paid sponsorship. Bro. Um, yeah. Then you'll have the domain name in your um in your account like this. Um, we will get back to this later, but pretty much like once you have it, you, it shows up here. It is yours. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, all right, and we are gonna we're gonna put this online. So I'm gonna bring you guys step by step along with me because I know a lot of you guys um might not be so familiar for my my people that are you know like wait for the next video or skip to the end of this or just uh, click through because I know a lot of you guys will also be familiar. But we're taking it slow here. Everybody's coming along um the next thing uh we're gonna need we're gonna need uh aws right so aws stands for amazon web services right it's pretty popular actually this is just amazon's um um uh, hosting company hosting is something you use to like put all our files on so that when people go to um go on the internet and type us in we, we can access them that's it works with your domain name all right and it, it's actually free so you guys can actually just go and sign up um sign up for free getting started is free you can actually go and say it which is pretty sweet um you will need an address i believe but other than that you should be good and once you are logged in you will see a page like this it will bring you to um a page like this or you, you should maybe see it like this if it's a little bit more complicated right um but you can if anything you can always search here now what we're gonna want is we're gonna want this service here called ec2 you can search it up here all right um 
right there now actually i do have to say this guys usually when i'm doing this on a production bill i do it on elastic beanstalk but ec2 has a free tier and i think it's pretty um instructional for for um start and it's and it's okay like if you're not sending millions of millions and millions of people there this is this is okay right now but even if you are amazon allows you to scale pretty nicely all right so what we're gonna do once we have this we're gonna um <laughs> um we're gonna want to create a new instance all right so right here i'm gonna just go instances all right here launch instances duh, duh. i want to create a new one them of this good guys um but all right yeah so once you do um once you go here you go to amazon ec2 instances launch new instance all right you can it will ask you for a name you can just put whatever name you want it doesn't matter so we'll just put no my pancake all right um trying to uh not make this video too complicated we're just gonna select ubuntu here just to keep it simple we can also let's 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 select ubuntu we're gonna try and keep as many default um settings that we want you can see here there's a free tier which is pretty nice um so we like that um you're gonna scroll down all right it's gonna say um key keep 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 your name all right um you're gonna want to create a new one actually you can just call it whatever you want so i'll just call it my pancake again all right just keep everything default click recreate you're good this is very 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 important you want to remember this um keep this downloaded um keep everything kind of the same um i sh uh, all right let's just keep it the same create new security group allow ssh traffic allow https traffic allow http traffic blah 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 blah, blah. we don't care if you, can, if you have it um and here you you get to configure um your storage um you can keep it is enough for this um i will say um but for now i think it goes up to free i think you can have up to what is it 30 30 gigabytes so why not choose the 30 i'll just click 25 um you really don't need a lot you need maybe like 10 is probably a lot already um but just to be safe um no we don't want any advanced options Scroll, scroll scroll is everything good all right launch instance all right now this should start um a new in a new instance it should spin up a new a new instance um of your um uh server right and so this is just like a computer hosted on the cloud that we're using amazon to, to um keep always on for us basically all right and this will take uh, it'll actually take a second here until it says it's ready you can see here it says pending all right um but in the meantime while that's pending we're gonna want some tool ah it's ready we're gonna want some tools as well uh, so if i click on it here and i say connect for example you guys see here it wants me to log in um with an ssh client don't worry we'll get to it and it wants me to do a lot of commands type of stuff again i think we can also go here blah blah, blah. i think it needs other one all right yeah. ssh all right um so or ss ssh client is like um or command line that we've been using like something like this right um and we need to log in that way in our server because our server is not like windows right it's ubuntu right and most servers are actually you see on the host things on the internet are actually using this command line interface you can kind of use a windows one actually with the user interface as well it's just terrible and not common right and you probably have to pay for it lots more than you'd pay for another one all right so once you have your domain name once you have your um your server all set up and i will leave links to all these things guys you're gonna want to go and download a tool um called um putty you type putty download all right i already have it but i'm just showing it to you guys once more all right and um you can go here download putty putty um so you can do the windows install it really doesn't matter um i'll just click it as, again i already have it but maybe updates or something like that 
for you guys you kind of just walk through it and you see i already have it so when it comes up you guys just click next click next um click next to everything and um maybe i can that's what am i doing I, okay i will not do that just click next click next to everything all right and you should be good all right and we're gonna when it's done you should have something like this something that looks like this all right on the desktop leave it for now all right and you're gonna also want something called win scp scp and this is just like a file transfer pro, um, program you're gonna want this to transfer your files um to your server it just has a nice ui that i like right there are also other things like filezilla you can use just about anything but i like win scp all right so i think it's nice and uh, useful uh, same thing there guys once it's done downloading you're gonna want to click next 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 to everything and um you will have something like this when it is done for now i will cancel this because i already have it okay um so now we have our win now we have our pancake now we have our um our server which we created with the amazon e ec2 for free all right and um now we need to we need to log in all right all right all right guys forgive it. all right all right guys the easy way okay it's always better the easy way o load up win scp all right um win scp is gonna be a thing like this you should be on the like new site you're gonna want to um click new site for host name you're gonna want to put um this this um name here cm like as putty all right you're gonna want to paste that there for username you're gonna want to put ubuntu all right um then you're gonna want to click um Oh, advanced. Yeah, just click something back. You don't click advanced. Make sure you don't fuck up anything. Key exchange, um, authentication. It's gonna ask you for the private key file. All right. Select the same file that we got when we downloaded off Amazon. Right. So for uh, almost forget all that from last time. We're gonna wanna go back to our same file. gonna ask you to do the auto convert right um private key file blah 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 okay then it's gonna ask you to save it i'm just gonna save it over my broken file here because i don't know what the f um and you click okay all right you wanna click okay and it should allow you to log in now it's gonna click yes again it's not hacking you um yes in key file blah blah, blah. all right and put it should um get you um to this um uh to this window here this screen i'm just gonna be on my desktop here all right so in this so this side here this window here this is our server these are the files on our server and this side here are the files on our computer right so if i go back to my active 2023 here are my pancake files all right now that's important and now we have the ability um to um transfer files over to our server i don't know why the heck i didn't just do it this way um to begin with honestly um default user is ubuntu we can just leave it at that i'm gonna also create a new folder on our um thing called um pancake all right just navigate here to keep everything clean all right um so once you're logged in there and you're, you're in with you're in win scp and you created your Older there did we're gonna want to um we're gonna want to transfer some of our files but not yet we're taking this really um slowly actually let me go back here for a second pancake github GitHub. i remember this command but i'm just uh, but i actually also want to change um or logo right because i don't we don't want to just you know put all this, this phony pancake online right like we don't want to do that you don't want to do that believe me all right um this video is a little long i'm a, um, i'm sorry guys but like um you know how it is again it can be things can come up if you don't want something like this or any other web project don't email down below reach out to me and my team we'll deal with all the bullshit for you but bullshit does happen all right um so all right well, I want to change this i want to change this logo here for a second to, um just to you know so we're not um fucking up um i want to change it to my pixel my pixel logo you guys know what's up and i which i should have somewhere around here you guys can use whatever logo you want obviously um you guys can use whatever um 
go you want and just gonna grab my logo that I'm used to using um, which I already have nicely seeded here as you can see or nice pixels of course window and it's actually a GIF too. You can like that, you can use GIFs, but to use GIF, you're gonna have to change, we're well, gonna have to change the code anyway, right? Um, so just grab your logo, all right, wherever you get it from. I'm just gonna copy uh, this uh, folder here and put it in my um, my pancake files, right? So that is desktop active public. You're gonna wanna put it in public, right? Ima images, uh, and I, Yes, mine here, my pixel folder, right? You guys know what's up with pixels. Go buy your pixels. Guys, if I launch a pixel, like, that's the real question. Um, thing done. Oh my God. When since this takes, this thing takes so long to build, bro. Like, this, the, 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 the um, DevOps on this thing is nuts, bro. Um, all right. I know no fucking money was going to take. I wouldn't have done it. Um, I would have only done it once. Um, but we want to change this, right? We want to change out this logo real quick. Um, yeah, we have to wait anyways, right? So just want to open up my editor, right? I think I can do this quick, but I have been proven wrong many times before. All right. Um, so to change the logo, we're going to want to go to, um, to our folder as well. All right, then we're going to want to go to packages, UI kit, um, source, um, widgets, menu, components, logo that takes JSX. We're going to want to scroll all the way down. And as you imagine, just um, we're going to want to come, we're going to want to come right here. We're going to want to fill in, um, or own um, um, logo stuff. All right, so for me, I'm just gonna do an image. I'm just gonna do image. Um, actually, I, 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 I'm not gonna like um, write this because I am a hella, hella um, efficient, okay? Not the other thing, all right? Um, just gonna borrow here, but basically we're just writing an image. Hold on, you are, don't worry guys, like I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we borrow. Um just making sure I remember myself um stealing it. Alright. Alright, so basically we're gonna wanna come here. We're gonna wanna delete these two. Right there, you're gonna wanna do this image, the source. Right, and if let's say your your folder your folder is named um Mega swap, you're gonna wanna do mega swap dot uh mega swap forward slash logo dot png or or whatever you, you have yours, then you're gonna do a forward slash this. You might also want to specify a width and a height because I can get um uh pretty crazy really quickly. Alright, um I'm just gonna um be super efficient here and you know use what we borrowed here. So as you can see, I did mine uh you wanna do images. I did forward slash images pixel which is my folder logo that gif i specified a width and um i also put some wording for pixel swap all right and so as you can see here immediately as i saved it it kind of recompiled um here kind of recompiled and already gave us this hey guys i decided to add in a quick little outro here because probably because this video is going on too long all right but i do wanna um you know thank you guys for staying with me just go ahead and watch the next one that should be somewhere there there all right and i do want to remind you guys if you do want something like this or any other web project done email down below reach out to me me and my team will get it done for you as well as we do have courses on cm available guys same thing email down below reach out to me but uh go ahead and watch the next video when you want when you're ready and i will see you in the next one